What if I told you that the Roman Empire fell in multiple stages and there were many invasion waves of different external enemies that brought the empire down to its knees? The first wave was already surprisingly early in the reign of Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus. The Marcomanni and Quadi managed to penetrate deep into the empire, even besieging Aquileia and threatening Italy itself. Only with great difficulty could Marcus Aurelius and his commanders defeat the invaders. Then the second wave came in the crisis of the 3rd century. This time the invasion waves were even more brutal and even more cities were sacked or destroyed by the invading Germanic tribes. Only with great luck and by a series of capable emperors could these invasions be driven back. But then another hundred years later the tribes came back with even more force and this time the empire did not have the luck that it had in the crisis of the 3rd century. And instead of Aurelian or Probus, the west had Honorius and Valentinian III. And so this third invasion wave resulted in the dissolution of the western Roman state. But then only 150 years later huge masses of Slavs and Avars conquered the Balkans and almost simultaneously first the Persians and then immediately the new Muslim Caliphate managed to conquer the African and Levant provinces. And thus the Roman empire went from this to this in the time span of only 250 years.